when it comes to hair color. Women often get the itch to change it up from time to time, but our next guest did just that, and she got a different itch than she was ever expecting. The price of beauty can often blow up your wallet, but for one unlucky Texan named Shamise, it also blew up her face. After recently hitting up the salon for a hair color change, Shamise quickly began to realize her face was swelling beyond recognition from an allergic reaction. She was rushed to the hospital after having trouble breathing, but what ingredient caused her face to get puffy so fast? And should pictures of that beauty treatment be tattooed on your brain to make sure it doesn't happen to you? Shamise now joins us, and Shamise, you actually were able to deduce the ingredient that caused this, is that right? Yes, it's PPD. And I had a, a similar allergic reaction in 2014 is when I learned that I'm allergic to this PPD that's in a lot of dark hair color dyes. And I explained that I was allergic to this and I was lied to and had this nightmare happen to me. So someone said, no, no, there's no PPD in this. You're good to go. Yeah, because I was told that the henna was supposed to be um, chemical free and all natural, but it wasn't. I think this highlights something for anyone watching. A lot of times you may have a customer come in, whether they're getting their hair dyed or they're talking about food or anything else, and the customer may say, hey, are there any nuts in this or is there any PPD in this? And I think the temptation sometimes is, oh, you know, no, it's not in there. But we're talking about life-threatening reactions here, and all too often I've seen this where it's just like, ah, no, I don't think that's in there, and it's just not that big of a deal. But these, these reactions, that one in particular, with as swollen as your face was, you know, we start worrying in medicine of your airway and inability to breathe. These can become so life-threatening so quickly. I I'm troubled that you specifically ask I know. for a product without this in it, and that's what they use. I'm, I'm deeply troubled. After this, did you go back to the place and say, look, you, you can't do this? Well, I sent her a very detailed email and included all of the pictures that you guys shoot there, and I haven't heard from her. Do you carry an EpiPen now? Yes, I figured. <laughs> well, and that's one of the biggest keys is knowing that you're allergic to this now. A lot of times people will be allergic and they won't necessarily know what it is too. So I'm glad you at least know that you're allergic to this and, and carrying that EpiPen can potentially save your life. I appreciate you sharing this story with us. Um, it, it also highlights to me something that you talk about a lot, which is a little patch test. Anytime you're using a new product, whether it's skin product, hair product, mm -hmm. right? A little patch test, see yes. what happens over the course if of 10, 15 minutes. If there's minutes. any question of whether you may have uh, allergic reaction to it, do that test first, maybe uh, in back of the ear, somewhere like that, and you'll see. But this is just another example of how you can get in trouble at the beauty salon. You know, whether it's manicures, pedicures, getting your hair done, hair colored, you have to know who's doing this and that you have to understand that there's potential downsides if things aren't done properly. Hey, Dr. By Gordon, what are, what are you doing next Wednesday? I'm having a mani-pedi with you. <laughs> <laughs> True story. Yeah. 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 Yeah.